page 40, the three major triads. Got some more theory going on here. On page 39, they're introducing you to a triad. Simply put, tri means three. A triad is a chord made up of three notes. Our harmonic system is built on thirds, which is every other note. A triad typically is two thirds, a third here and a third here. I haven't taught you what a third is, but that's it. A triad is thumbs together, every other note. We've got three notes. They're all triads. I'm just using white keys right now, but I can use the black keys, it doesn't matter. It's a triads. We're in the key of C major in this lesson. C major, all the white keys. In a key, in any key. All the notes in the key are numbered. We call them steps. What step is such and such? Starting with one, we don't start with zero. We start with one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight is one again. So there's seven notes involved, and each one is numbered steps. Because sometimes we refer to the chords by their number. Chord one or the one chord, or the four chord, or the five chord, or the one, two chord, or whatever. Well, that is a triad built on that step number. So the one chord is built on step one of the key. Here we're in C major. So the one chord is built on step one, and it's every other note. You have three of them. That's a one chord in the key of C. Two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, six chord, seven chord, and one chord again. And uh, some other key, that won't be a one chord, it'll be something else, a different number. In addition to the numbers, sitting down, we'll talk about this more, so that's okay. Every step in a scale also has a name. It also has more than one name, because remember the do, re, mi, fa, so, the solfege? Well, that has to do it too. Do is the first step. Do, re, mi, fa, so, do, mi, so. So you could do it that way. If you're singing it, you can do the singing those things. I'm not talking about that here. We're talking about a different name. There is a name for each of these. I won't go through them all. There's no point. But I want to cover what they're covering here. The first step is called the tonic. I don't know why. I don't care why. It's just called a tonic. Okay. The fourth step, one, two, three, four. The fourth step is called the subdominant. And the fifth step is here. That's called the dominant. So you got the dominant, and you go down one, you get the subdominant. And the beginning, you get the tonic. Those three chords of any key, the tonic, the subdominant, and the dominant of any key, they're called the primary chords. You're going to see them a lot. They're used a lot. The harmony just keeps coming back to them. Mm. We get these here. In the first two measures, you get to here. Look at all three notes here. It's a broken chord. Remember I said blocked and broken? A blocked chord is when the notes go down at the same time. At least in theory, they go down. If I could play them at the same time, they would. And a broken chord is anything else. And there's thousands of patterns for broken chords. Well, in the first two measures, those are C chords, but they're broken chords because they're not down at the same time. This pattern happens to be bottom to top. And then the next two measures, you get the block chords, same chords. Then we go up to the sub dominant here, here, and block chords. And then second line, we get the dominant chords. And then finish with the tonic. We tend to get this kind of a pattern. You get the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the one chord. We get these over and over and over. It's a nice progression, a chord progression. A chord progression is when you have a series of chords, or the chords that progress through. It sounds okay. We get this. It, it kind of, it would be better if we didn't play them all in this arrangement, because you can rearrange the notes in a chord. I can take the C chord, I can put the C on top. It's still a C chord. I can put the E on top. It's still a C chord. So we're not always playing them in this arrangement. Other arrangements sound better, but this progression of chords sound very good. 
That's it. And that's all we're doing here on these. That's really all it is. It's not really a piece. It's just kind of a little thing they put together to introduce you to this. I mean, on the top half of page 40, they're going up the C scale. That's together. To. It's just as long as you understand we have the three primary chords and they're based on steps one, four, and five. That's really what's important. These tonic, subdominant, and dominant things, you may run across them. It's nice to know what they are, but as far as really talking about them, most of the time we deal with the numbers one, four, and five chords. I'm not going to do a play with me on this because it's, it's not a piece. We're just kind of talking about this. If you want to pedal it, you can. I use the change pedal. And you just change it like they're saying. If, I'm not going to show you. You have fun with this. If you, if you have questions, you're welcome to ask. There you go.